when I'm sick, I'm still performing. There you go. True love. And, um, um, what did I say again? Okay, so, Calvin Harris feature will be released an, a next week? Next week, Ramesh? Yeah. Next week. Next week. But, <laughs> I'm gonna drop a new song this week. <laughs> you know, a little something, something. Yeah. Nothing too serious, nothing too crazy, just some vibes, just some fun. I think I'm gonna release it this week. For sure. I'm gonna release it this week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so tune in to my gram this week. Um Instagram has been moving a bit weird for me though because you know the update. I don't like this new update. I don't like it. It's weird. I don't I don't like this new update. I'm about to go change this fit because I feel a little too naked to go on the road later. Why do you do belly roll? I'm oh, a belly roller. I'm a belly roll. No, sir. Hold on. Belly roll. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it now? <laughs> Come do it now? Don't do belly roll. Show me. You have to have the big belly. I'm going to roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. I need a teacher. So yes, guys. Um, I have a collab coming up also with Fireboy for his project. Big up Fireboy. He's such a cool person. Like I met him at um Wireless. His art, Rogero. I'm here again. Oh, okay. You just let me have to go off a while. No, I'm here again. Come, it's more easy. Give me half a minute, all right. Oh, lucky, you know me now. Saturday. You know me. Right? Don't play with me. Yes, Rogero is here, guys. I want to say hi to him. I know y'all want to say hi to me. I know. All of them shouting at the, sta at the stage last... Y'all shouting at the stage at me. <laughs> they were happy to see you. Tell them you lose your friend's Oh, yeah. They, they already saw that. <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly. And big up Roger for coming out on stage with me. Hi, Candy K. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on now. That's my friend, Roger. You know, see me for them when I come out to my business, you know. Roger's getting so big. He wants his own privacy. He doesn't really want me to be posting him that much anymore. So I've just been kind of cool on posting him. You know, when he gets comfortable again, then I'm going to start posting him back. But the boy is growing and he's growing in his own individual, so you cannot fight him. Honestly. You know? But, yes, sir. So let's talk about some first performance. That performance, everything went wrong for me. But it's the grace of God that pulled me through that performance. I'm telling you. Because I said that I was going gonna to go out there and enjoy myself. Right? And it worked out perfectly because I hired dancers. I hired, I hired some people to do a crazy intro for me. And it wasn't done. They didn't get it done. Right? And then the dancers was giving a lot of attitude, bad vibes, all that shit. So I had to like cancel all of them. 
right? So I was like, you know what? I just like to go out there and do my thing and be myself, you know? I wanted to give more, but I've, I've realized that it was just what the stage needed, you know? It's like God makes everything happen for a reason. Like it wasn't too much and it wasn't too little. Like I truly enjoyed myself in that performance. And it was very important to me because I haven't performed in Jamaica for a long time. And I'm happy that you guys enjoyed it because I really did go through a lot. Plus, I sick. P plus I got sick the day before the performance. Let me tell you, when I went on that stage, I was sick like a dog. Voice gone, nose stuffy, right? Fever. I was so sick. I did a COVID test though, and I didn't have no COVID, so that's why I still pushed and went out there because I don't want nobody to say, oh, I pull out a sound fest and this and that. So I made sure to just, you know, plus I missed my shinings down in Jamaica, so. I felt like I just had to show up regardless of everything that was happening. It was just a whole mess behind the scenes. So I feel like over elated. Yeah, over elated when you guys, you know, enjoyed it. Because I was on the stage enjoying myself. I was like, you know what? I'm here and God up here and I got no. Me and the Lord. But yeah, sometimes you guys don't even know what's happening behind the scenes, man. It's just so crazy. I really be fighting shit sometimes. I'm ready to take this shit off. So I'm not even going to stay on this live too long with y'all because this shit is killing me. And I'm sorry, but I didn't get any pictures in that fit. I'm so mad. <laughs> because I got ready. And I couldn't even get time because uh, my performance was so close to the time that I finished getting ready. But shout out to Cher for my hair. She slayed in a short space of time. So big up yourself, Cher. Thank you for coming through for me. I got the top in all colors. No, I didn't get the top in all colors, actually. I just got it in silver and red. But I think I'm going to use it, use the design for my swim line that I'm about to do. Remember, I told you guys that I want to start um, putting on some bathing suits. So I think I'm going to use this design because it's like literally shining. My whole logo is like so fire over the titties. And... Sizes upon sizes. Why not? <sighs> so my next performance will be in Bermuda. And I think it's DC or, or DMV. Oh, shit. I don't even know. July 31st. I'm dying for a break. I am dying for a break. Watch Black Boy over there, so. Right. Oh, yeah. Come on, Dad. Watch him over there, so. It's time for you to go to your bed still. And I think so. Oh, yeah, I'm so loud. Huh? And I think so. Shen. Son, Bye bye. Bye, Ramesh, big son. With the, with, the, <laughs> with the nice mustache. <laughs> it's bad luck to wear a ring on your marriage finger. I don't, I'm not wearing it on my marriage finger. 
You have not been married yet. You have not been married yet. Rajiro. Me no more afraid of you. God no. Listen guys, I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up of this life. Cause yeah, say good night. Good night. <laughs>